Hey guys, Handy Capable Gamer here, welcoming you back to the channel. Today, I want to give you my thoughts on a game called Windland. Since purchasing the PlayStation VR, I've been looking through the available catalog of games to find titles that provide an experience that I'm, I am unable to comprehend in my day-to-day -day life as a person who uses a wheelchair to get around. So far, I've found quite a few titles that provide me with an experience that I've never had in reality. Recently, SciTech Games was generous enough to provide me with a code for their virtual reality title, Windlands. Prior to downloading this game, I had heard about it and it was described to me as a parkour game with grappling hooks. I was immediately intrigued because I enjoyed the movement systems in games like Dying Light and Mirror's Edge, so I was ecstatic when I got the opportunity to try this out for myself in a seated virtual reality setting. Upon entering the world of Windlands, I was immediately struck by the sense of scale in the environment. As you enter the first level, you look up and see a giant titan towering over you, as well as platforms everywhere, surrounded by a ton of trees. In rather quick succession, the player is taught how to jump, which sends you higher into the air than you might think. The jumping mechanic felt similar to the weightless jumping featured in Scavenger's Odyssey on the PlayStation World's disc. Following that, you're given access to the grappling hooks, which are controlled using the left and right triggers. The controls work perfectly, but I would have loved to see move support in the game as well. I am told from a friend who spoke to the developers on Twitter that move support is scheduled to be coming very soon. As, as you jump from platform to platform, you can cross big gaps and move across the map with ease, attaching a grappling hook to one of the many trees. The movement experienced at this point can, be can best be described as feeling like Spider-Man using the grappling hooks to swing through the environment at a high rate of speed while you're suspended high in the air. The one thing that is most important for me to mention is that this was one of the first full locomotion PlayStation VR titles that I've played. However, the sense of motion is beyond anything I could have imagined. At times, it was overwhelming, and did induce some motion sickness. Therefore, I played the game in short burst, but I would never discredit the game for that, because even in short play sessions, the game is very unique in its style, approach, and it just the level of fun you can have with this title compared to some other games is phenomenal. Not to mention, the developers were smart enough to include a wide variety of comfort settings, more so than I've seen in other games. These settings allow the player to be a little more at ease while playing. I'm definitely prone to motion sickness in real life, which may be attributed to my equilibrium issues caused by cerebral palsy. In order to maintain objectivity, I've, I let an able-bodied person who actually plays VR with no problems try the game. They began to feel nauseated after 15 to 20 minutes of play, but did feel better after tinkering with the comfort settings. There is definitely a story behind Windlands, but I won't spoil that since the game play is the real king here. Through the platforming and swinging, you reach checkpoints and gather collectibles to influence changes in the world around you. Story-wise, I will leave it at that. Going back to the gameplay, as an individual with a disability, I've never had the opportunity to experience walking without assistance, or jumping or climbing, or anything of that nature. While playing this game, I can honestly say I felt like I was the one doing the movements. This was a bit startling, as I have no frame of reference for how it should feel, but it felt right to me, and from what, other, from what I've heard from others, who have also played, they agree, that the movement is something that sets this game apart from almost any other virtual reality title. To add another layer to the gameplay onion, I'm a person who is extremely afraid of heights or roller coasters or anything of that sort. For those curious whether Windlands provides the sense of immersion people expect in VR, 
The answer is a resounding yes. The first few times I f fell in the game, after missing a jump or falling, uh, or failing to grab with the grappling hooks, I genuinely yelled out. I did appreciate the soft landing provided, and the fact that visually the fall is not overly realistic. Once I got into the game, and had been playing for a bit, I found myself pushing through my motion sickness just to play a little more, because the game itself was so enthralling. If you're in the market for a charming virtual reality platformer with parkour influences, this is definitely a game for you. Also, if recent adopters of the PlayStation VR are looking for a title that provides exhilarating off-rails experience with full environmental freedom, download this game immediately. I can say with confidence that Windlands will be an eye-opener as an example of the new capabilities that virtual reality can offer us. Windlands is a must-play PSVR title. I want to thank SciTech for creating such a memorable game that is accessible to just about anyone. This has been the Handy Capable Gamer, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, or check out my Patreon page to find out more about me and why I'm on YouTube to begin with. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.